Ladies and gentlemen, let me officially welcome all of us here today. It's a, a beautiful moment that we're all going to share over here as we officially launch one of the programs that is yet to be on Joy Prime. Uh, this is one program that I'm sure lots of people will look forward to, including all of us over here. It's called the G-Spot, and uh, it's handled by Gloria, uh, who is Miss G. We all know her, and uh, she's going to be the host for it. Before that, let's uh, get to know why we are gathered here and uh, what details we're supposed to pick from here. And to help us do that, a round of applause for the channel manager for Joy Prime, Nana Yasewa Sapong. big welcome to each and every one of you for being here. Um, all our celebrities in the house, the press, and um, our own multimedia journalists present here. Um, we're grateful for your presence, for taking time of your busy schedules to be here. Um, every time we, we call you, and uh, we always can count upon you because you will be here. Joy Prime, as we know, um, was established three years ago to bring meaningful and uh, memorable entertainment that is real to the people who watch them. Like we always say, um, television, this is something that I strongly believe in, has always been my mantra, that television is supposed to be a medium that tells a vision. And so if somebody spends time to watch television, it must be meaningful to their life and it must be impactful as well. And it is for this reason that um, we are moving into another phase and another level um, in the lifespan of um, Joy Prime, bringing in more programming that speaks to the needs of people, aside entertaining them. Um, Gloria um, is such um, a beautiful um, artist or a beautiful presenter um, inside out. And she's showcasing all this in the productions that will be unveiling on TV for everybody to see. The show premieres on the 30th of June. That is next week, Saturday. Um, every evening, 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Everybody should make um, time and watch. Oh, a round of applause for our channel manager, Nanaya Sewa Sapong. Ladies and gentlemen, let me take this opportunity to uh, briefly uh, acknowledge the presence of the dignitaries that we have over here. So I uh, probably want to start from the far end uh, where we have, he's not a footballer, he's an artist actually. Um, <laughs> Kwame Zagi over there and he's a musician here in Ghana doing very well. And next to Kwame Zagi we have our own Ms. V, uh, who I'm not surprised she's here because there's a Ms. G. So the combination is very tight. And then we have the man who is a very sensational guy, doing pretty well in the scenes. Kitty, a round of applause for the man, Kitty. <laughs> that glass, though. <laughs> um, <laughs> the president of the Artist Guild is here. Mr. Efficient is here. Please, a round of applause. Thank you so much for doing us the honors. We appreciate it. And my own brother from another mother I've not seen for a while, Ken Fiat is here. A round of applause, Ken. Many thanks for coming. And then we have uh, those out there who are doing Ghana so much of goodness when it comes to the music industry. I mean, you probably would say you've not heard much from them here in Ghana, but when you go out there, I've seen the lots of things that they've been doing. Willie and Mike, and we have Mike over here. Willie, Ma Willie is here. Mike is on his way. Many thanks for gracing the occasion. God bless you. And then my own uncle, oh, the man of green. Please, let's give it up to him. He doesn't even need any introduction. The man, uncle, Ben Brackle. God bless you for coming. We appreciate it. And then also another man who is also sampling a lot of the old folks songs if not um, entirely i mean he's been doing a lot with that and making sure that we all get to enjoy some good music he's very young very very young and i'm talking about the man kwame eugene great guy you guys don't have the same spectacles on the last time was a suit uh sorry <laughs> all right so we, we also have our friends in the media over here supporting us and uh vicky is here Lebanon is here a round of applause for uh, my own Lebanon. Today we'll leave you with our issues. I promise you that. <laughs> and uh, we'll have our own in-house personalities also here um, joining us. We have Tima Kunkum over here. A round of applause. And uh, the lady who is always on the Jansi Jansi. Uh, you know, she's also here. And uh, 
Shikari is uh, uh, Karen, sorry, yeah, is on Jansi Kirani. So please, uh, a round of applause for her. <laughs> and um, well, as we move on, we'll still be talking about, we have our events people here, we have our sales people here as well. So we'd like to acknowledge the presence of all of them. I mean, the big man is here. Uh, Please, <laughs> he doesn't like it at all. He doesn't like it. Mr. Nimo, please, a round of applause for Mr. Nimo. <laughs> An amazing man. Yeah. He will definitely get the money from you, whether you like it or yes. But that's what it is. So, um, G Sport actually is glorious sport that I'm made to understand. So, don't, don't be having so much thoughts in your mind. I know all of you are thinking about so many things already. What is G Sport? What is the G and all that? It's glorious sport. Oh, Gloria. Right? Great. <laughs> so, uh, that's what it is. But we'd like to have another uh, very important personality talk to us. And uh, this is the man who actually oversees everything that happens over here. And uh, he's in the person of Mr. Santok Singh. He happens to be our managing director, multi-TV. Please, a round of applause for our managing director. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I won't be able to mention all, all your name individually, but first of all, thank you for coming. Uh, Joy Prime. Joy Prime is our latest addition within the multimedia family. It's the youngest, uh, youngest brand, youngest uh, platform, uh, which gave birth uh, three years ago. Um, as we go along, uh, when we started, we, we started with a lot of um, content which was very, uh, very much uh, forward. But as we go along, we, we, we knew the need of us making the channel more locally relevant. And uh, we have uh, tried hard um, to produce, continually produce new content, exciting content. And G-Spot is our latest addition to our new shows that we are producing. G-Spot is a brainchild of Miss G herself. I mean, she came with the concept herself, which she'll talk about it. But when we were discussing and brainstorming with regards to the title, we went a long ways, like, you know, because when the name G-Spot came, I said, I was a bit reluctant, and I said, you know, will it give a positive, uh, positive uh, feedback, or was it come with a negative, uh, you know, it was quite a, a challenge. Uh, but eventually, I think uh, my argument uh, lost, theirs won, and uh, so I had to agree with the uh, title of G-Spot. But again, that's the thing, being in TV and all that, you have to be a bit naughty as well, and it's just to get that attention that, that, that about the program. But it's definitely not what we are thinking altogether. I mean, the, the content is, is very empowering. But anyway, uh, Ms. G, uh, we, are, we are happy. We, I mean, we went through a lot. We went through a long, I mean, we have been working like for what, months on this project. It's like back and forth, back and forth. We did, she, they did the, what do you call it, um, um, pilot, and then we rejected. Then she went again, they came, and then there's changes and all that. So finally, we, we are here to launch the show. Uh, I, I was always telling her, I said, never give up. Don't give up. I mean, she was almost giving up. I think it was, she was almost in tears as well when we were giving her the feedback is like because one one thing about multimedia is like we are we are very open in terms of giving criticism, getting uh, getting feedback because they, at the end of the day we want a good product, so it's part of learning as well. Uh, so Miss G, uh, all the best to you. We are very happy that finally this program is taking off, and uh, we hope all of you who are you, who are here will be able to also participate in the show. Away from that, let's have another important person that we have here at Multi TV. Uh, he's also going to give us a brief comment about what we're experiencing here today, and he happens to be our general manager. Please, a round of applause for Mr. Abdullah Awudu, our general manager. Okay, I can use this mic. Normally, I'm far away in the background. I, I'm happy to meet a lot of celebs, people I normally see on TV, you know, in music videos and in films. Um, very pleased to meet you. Uh, my comments are going to be very brief because Nanaya has spoken and Santok has spoken. Um, like Nanaya said, uh, Miss G is a beautiful artist. She's, she has drive. She has style. And when you watch the show G-Sports, you see the drive and you see the style in it. And 
She's passionate about what she talks about. Um, KMJ says, glorious sport, girl sport. But what, what I love from what I've seen so far is that the G can stand for gender sport. And when you, when you take the topic, you, you see, our life is beautiful because of the diversity we have. And when Ms. G takes a topic and gives the opportunity for diverse opinions from different genders, from different people, and you see them come together, and you watch and you see yourself being reflected, or you see somebody you know being reflected in that piece that you are watching, it's really exciting. I, look, you just have to make time every Saturday, starting from the 30th, 630, to watch G Sports. But Gloria, just keep the passion going, push it. And I know, you know, we remember when you came on Joy News, and I was like, who's that chick? And all of a sudden, everybody's talking about Miss G. Just keep pushing. We are excited that you are here to support us. We know that we have a solid family in the fraternity. Please push the show and make the show a great show. Thank you very much. And, uh, personally, I wish you well. I know you have a lot to, to tell us today. Why you even decided to say G Sports? I'm sure you would have to ex explain that to us today. So we'll go into that. But let me once again uh, acknowledge some personalities here. Uh, Mike just joined us. Please, a round of applause for Mike of William Mike. God bless you. Uh, for doing that for us. We have Okadeko in the house, please. We have a rep from Okadeko. Hello. I like your smile. It's beautiful. You should be on G-Sport. <laughs> yeah, we like your deco too. Owen from Owen GH is also in here. A round of applause. Uh, the media people always showing us some love. We appreciate it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to hear from the horse's own mouth. I'm sure a lot of us want to hear what she would say. And so without wasting much time, I would like to Turn the baton over to my dear sister, Gloria, <laughs> Madame Miss G, aka G Spot. <laughs> Thank you very much, KMG. And um, I must say, it's a much of a delight for me to see this day. I'm very, very grateful to everyone present my celeb friends from the Lynx family William Mike, Kwamizagi, Actors Guild, Sami, Sami Fishin, Ken Fiati. You know, the list go on, uh, goes on, Uncle Ben. Vic, please pardon me if I don't call you. Karin, I'm so grateful to all of you for honoring this invitation. I'd not take it lightly at all. I would want to say a very big thank you to my bosses. My, my, my speech will be short, but um, pardon me if it, goes, it becomes lengthy. I'll start from uh, Nanaya. I'm very, very grateful to, the, to her for the fact that when I approached her with a concept that I have thought through, she welcomed it. I'm also grateful to Santok. Santok, like he said, um, if this comes across as perfect to you, he's the man making it perfect. We've shot pilots time and over. Like he said, there's times when, there are times when I've, I've actually gave up. And um, he met me once and said, don't give up. I, I, I didn't really think that I, I took his words, but I'm very grateful. And one person I also want to say I'm extremely grateful to is Abdullah Awudu. Um, at a point, G Spot was almost no more. Sorry, I'm a very emotional person, so if I tear, um, please forgive me. It was almost not going to happen because um, certain things were not well in place. And just when I thought I was giving up, he twisted the whole thing that we are talked about. And so they're saying G Sports is feminine side, but this is a show that has become gender based, like he's saying. We've twisted everything and it's coming out so beautifully because G Sports allows women to air their opinion on issues. It's the only show I've seen do that. It allows men also to air their opinion on issues. And Thirdly, it gives both of them the opportunity to clash things out or to battle issues out. So after the women have done their talking, the men are listening in actually to what the women are saying. And then the men also come tell their part of what we are discussing. The women are taking notes. Then final segment, all of us come together and we battle it out. And I must tell you that it's been a beautiful experience and I, I do not take it lightly that all of you are here. And I can't wait for it to start showing on the 30th. I'm waiting for feedback. I am ready to grow. 
Like they say, I have serious drive, and I'm thankful that they, they have been supportive. To all my media friends, thank you so much. And uh, I'd not take it lightly at all. Thanks to the producer, Sami, and our new PA, Loretta. It's always difficult working with Ms. G, but I'm very, very grateful to them. And at this juncture, I'll plead that Orca Deco also has a word or take, uh, tell us something, because they have been very hospitable. We shoot from their location, we invade their premises, and they've been very, very, very accommodating. And so we are very grateful to you, Orca Deco, and thanks for coming through. My makeup artist, Ellis Makeover, thank you all for coming through. I'm very grateful to the entire team here. Okay, thank you very much for this opportunity. Um, I also had a thought, the G sports. I know our counselors and um, medical practitioners will give us a different meaning, but this is um, gender, yes. I, I support the gender because on the show you have both sides. Um, Oka Deco is really delighted to be part of G sports, um, giving out our premises for you to shoot. Um, we are once again happy, and I believe I've been seeing our boss at Okadeko, thank you very much for passing through. <laughs> so Okadeko is um, a shop where you can get all your home, office, and outdoor furniture. And then we have deco accessories, and then we have outdoor, okay? And so we are across, we exist across about 17 countries, African countries, sorry. Yes, and then when you come to Okadeko, you don't only come in to have a few of the furnitures, we have other packages like the gift registry list. So when you're here and you're about to get married and you're thinking of that big day, we have this offer for you, okay? So you come register with a gift registry list and then we, we give you a very beautiful package, okay? And then we do the same for baby shower. So those with the new babies, you can still come to Orca Deco. <laughs> so you can reach us on um, social media pages. We are on Facebook. Oka Deco Ghana, and then we are on, um, you can reach us also on our website, okadeco.com.gh, okay. And I'm Abigail, I'm the sales and marketing person. You can reach me, so anytime you come to Oka Deco, please ask of Abigail. Okay, thank you so much, thank you. If nothing at all, now women understand why sometimes we lie. It's not like we want to lie, but we for lie. You see, so yes. Um, Ms. G, Aiko, I think uh, without a doubt, this is one beautiful production. And uh, I mean, let's, cl let's clap for the production team again. Yes. I'm impressed. But I'm sure most of you who have been on the set are super impressed seeing what is you know, on the screens right now. And you'd like to share with us some of the things you had to go through to make it this beautiful. So um, I don't know who will want to take it first. Who has been on and wants to take it first? Rasta man. Oh, your Rasta, your laughing savvy Rasta. <laughs> right. Um, good afternoon. afternoon. Well, I'm not from MPP. I just <laughs> like. <laughs> well, it was fun being on the set. Um, I enjoyed the production. The kind of professionalism they put in there and also uh, the host was very very uh, good on set uh, made us felt at home uh, you know it was just like doing a show you've been on already so it was great there and after I left there listening to the women from the show I added a little bit to my life that is going to improve my lifestyle. So I believe if you keep on watching, there's a lot to learn from there. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so I understand there are more that have personalities that are seated over here and that, that we have not seen and uh, that's in a work in progress. So we're definitely going to also go to them to share their thoughts with us. Ken, I know you're one of uh, the people in there. Uh, we've not seen your episode yet, but how is the experience on set? I must confess that when I was called, I was a bit hesitant because of the name, the G Sport. Yeah. I think I'm still hesitant. <laughs> but um, when they explained it and uh, it made a lot of sense to me, I had to create time for it because I I had a packed day. 
And uh, I think what worked also was the fact that it was Miss G. I, I have seen her before, we have spoken, she's interviewed me before, and I know how good she is. Um, one thing that usually pushes us away from, when I say us, I'm sure I'm speaking for all of us here, um, when you go on set to film stuff, interviews like that, people don't respect time. And so you check your schedule and you want to give excuses. But I, I, I can't lie about it. They are professional. They know what they're doing. Um, it felt like home, you know, where you could easily interact and um, share ideas. And uh, the director knows what he wants. And the host knows what she wants. And she knows how to bring you back home when you want to swerve questions. But I think the section I like very much is the end where we have personal questions to answer here. Um, honestly, uh, maybe the last thing I have to say is the topic I had to deal with, you stand by and watch it. But you made me go back and read. You know, there are things that we take for granted. When we say love, we take it for granted. When we say sex, we just say sex is sex. But I think they chose a topic that made me go read a little so that I won't come and lie on set. And I'm sure that um, it's going to help all of us um, learn a lot of things that we need to know. So it's a good show. I'm sure I can change the date of today to 29th, so tomorrow I can watch this. Thank you very much. OK, so uh, okay, let me go to you, then I'll come back to you. Hi, everybody. Um, I must say that when I was on the set, first of all, um, what I liked, my first impression was the fact that it's a very beautiful set. Um, maybe the, the accolades go to Orca. Yeah, I mean, there's so many of these talk shows going around, and some are so painful to watch. Um, first of all, I, I think it's from... The, the guests you have on, um, I think you carefully choose your guests and I think it, it tells in how good the show would be because obviously you can have people that can express themselves or people that are not mature enough to know um, how to agree or disagree with other guests on the show. So I think that was fun as well. And I think I was on with some musicians. They were so fun. Yeah. And our topic was who owns the kitchen. And after that, in the evening, I was speaking to my husband and I said, guess what? I was on a talk show today and they asked who owns the kitchen. And I said, it's the woman. He said, who told you? It's my kitchen. You know, so um, as much as you, we will think that this is just a talk show, there are real issues where um, when, you, when you get yourself involved or you watch, you, you sort of relate it to your personal self and then you learn or if there's anything you have to stop doing, then you stop doing. But I must say that it's, these are real issues that um, we've just watched and I'm sure the other topics you'll be discussing are real issues which we need really. There's so many, the industry is saturated with these talk shows and you are aware, but I think that um, these real ones are, are stuff that we want to watch and would e get everybody glued to their set. So you're doing well, and their set is amazing. That's the, my uh, thing, yeah. Karen is fascinated about the set. And Ken said that you felt like, like home when you're on set. Oka Deco is home, right? Yeah. Don't miss it, and Oka Deco's TV will be played. So please, be watching. Be watching as well. <laughs> And when I, when I did the first speech, I forgot to state this, that we are on the Sprinters Road. Okay, just a minute drive from Flapot. <laughs> and when you're in <laughs> and then when you're in Kumasi, please go to Asokwa. Okay, that's where you can locate us. But Miss G, thank you. That's a good show. Thank you, thank you. Impressive. What do you have certain personalities like Uncle Ben Brako on a certain show? It tells you that this is a show that a lot has been put into words. I mean, he will not just wake up and go and sit on any, just any show, but he was part of it and would like to have a few words from him. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, well, one th common thing everybody has mentioned is that you feel very comfortable when you go to the set. And it's a beautiful set, very relaxing. You know, the discussions were very animated and people were really genuine because the hostess was the mostest. 
But I think one thing we can all agree is that she's somebody who has found her G spot. <laughs> Miss G, that was discovered a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, uh, Madam Jude Lomote was also part of it. We would like to take a word from her. Um, hi, I think it was an interesting show. Um, I'm honored to be part of it. And then um, before Miss G will call you, give you direction, the, um, there's this guy called Sam. They'll be giving you direction. Are you coming? I mean, the way they will even pamper you to be on the set, I think it's, they give us that respect and I would um, urge everybody to be by the set and watch because there's so much to learn. When there was a question, when she asked me, I said, I am 20 years in my city. yeah, you are a legend. But it takes um, good people like you to make um, such a wonderful program. And I, I say bravo to you. It's, it's amazing. And I can't wait to be pampered. Sammy, I hope when I get there, you don't stop pampering. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think personally, I love the show so much. Uh, when uh, the producer called us, me and my brother, I was asking him, that, what are we going to do, especially with our world of the gospel music and this thing? So they give us a topic and then when we go to the we go to the program the location there was a particular lady that they pay us with and i've forgotten the name what is the name of that lady yes brown and the lady is is she was something else and we really enjoy the show so much but i i, I will not be surprised in a few days to come this will be one of the biggest show that will won award because I remember uh, a few months ago, we were in California and we were watching some uh, TV show and I saw the similarities, the professionalism in, on this particular program. So I will encourage you to keep it up and we are proud to be part of this. Okay, one house. Um, I should say I'm very proud to be part of the show because I was on the pilot, yeah, and I was, I already saw a bigger picture, I told you. So, th so then I was looking forward to something mega. Now, we went on and on, we shot the next one, I don't know what happened to that, and then this very one just yesterday, I mean, just when I got on the set, the first thing they gave me was food. <laughs> because, <laughs> because I love food, so when I see food, I'm like, okay, now, I'm here, Maba, I'm coming to do this. So I felt really comfortable, got dressed, and then we got on. And this is just like a reality TV show for me, really, the whole Ghana. I have not seen any show that has so much genuineness. The topics are very, I mean, good. The, the cast on set, perfect. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to a much bigger picture so that we can go across boundaries. And so congratulations. I want us to say a very big thank you and uh, give a round of applause to Gloria, <laughs> hostess, to a very special man, Sammy. I always say producer one, Sammy. And especially to the crew, you know, who are on their feet every time, you know, throughout the productions. Because we don't have one set of crew, we can't mention any, but to the entire team that is led by um, Alfred and his, uh, Alfred Dama, we say a very big thank you to them as well. And then to the sales team. In fact, through them, we've also been able to get um, Oka Deco, a beautiful place. And it's the first time we have actually having a production and there's such a, a collaboration on partnership. And it's been good. It's been good, and uh, we like how you also brought details into the whole arrangement of the contrast to make sure that you are also, you know, well seen too. And we are glad to satisfy you, and we would always be there for you. So big thank you to Okadeko as well, and um, please let's give up a round of applause to them, and um, thank you to um, the press here present. In fact, this is a press launch, and so without the press, we are not doing anything here, and they will only be on our phones when we leave here. So we say a very big thank you um, to all the press that has been acknowledged here. Um, special thank you to Uncle Ben Bracco. 
There's one thing special I've seen about him. He's always on time. Always on time. He was the first to get here. Anytime we've invited him for a production, he's always on time. You know, we thank you so much for leading us in that professional way. Um, to Willie and uh, your brother Mike, we say a very big thank you to you for coming. Ken Fiati, um, our boss, um, Ms. V, Kidi, Kwame Zagi, um, um, Lebene, um, Karen, thank you so much for coming. You know Karen is a Joy Prime brand. We're very proud of her. Yeah. <laughs> and to everyone here, especially to our sales team as well, for always supporting us and the production team, um, entire technical team here in multimedia, and of course, uh, um, um, other subsidiaries in multimedia group. Linda, thank you for coming. Thank you.